what would you say the wider significance of the trial is? Well, I, you know, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, it's very important that this trial be put in perspective. Um, Derek Chauvin is on trial, but this case is about much more because this isn't the first case that we have seen of a police officer killing a black person in the United States. And so I think to Reverend Sharpton's point is that the whole system is on trial and that it's important that we understand that, uh, that the way that these cases have worked over time is that often the police officers walk away. Uh, and that the family does not get justice. And so it's important to put it in perspective because at the end of the day, the kind of transformation we need in this country around public safety does not hinge on this case. But people are hopeful that finally our system will work so that someone will have to be held accountable for killing a black person. Person and for killing them with, I mean, this is unreasonable force on at every level. Uh, now, people who are witnessing the, the trial or, or people that have been spoken to in the street outside have said that they call, they've, you know, they've called for change after it happened, and they they don't know if change has actually happened. What what would you say? Have, have there been any kind of substantial changes in the way policing is carried out that would make this not happen in future? Well, I, you know, I do think that um, the movement that has been bubbling up across the country has called for accountability and significant change. What has happened as a result is that we do have a bill that is pending in Congress called the Justice in Policing Act. It's called the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. We have several places across the country where communities have come together and moved to make their local city councils cut funding. Um, to policing and put that money into the supports for communities. And so while I think we're not going to see change very quickly, um, we are seeing change because America has had to hold up a mirror to itself and understand that for many communities, especially the black community, that police do not keep us safe and they cannot be trusted. And so there is a question right now in this country around the legitimacy of the police and what is their true um, role in our communities. So what would the reforms you think would be, would be necessary to, for the, the police as an institution? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that we're going to see play out in the Chauvin trial is around um, use of force, um, because the defense is going to argue that they use reasonable force um, when he put his uh, foot on the neck of a black man, they will say that that was reasonable. What we will also see is that they will say that he was just playing by the book. This is the way he was trained. And so those two things, we know reasonableness and what we call qualified immunity, is the shield against accountability. And so those are two things that we have to change in this country. And then there's culture, because the other thing is, we need to understand that Derek Chauvin is not just a bad apple, but it is the whole tree that is infected with racism. Is it your impression that a lot of this will focus on the, on the cause of death? I mean, they seem to have already... The, the defence mm -hmm. have brought up uh, the fact that he was uh, had consumed drugs. Is that something that you think will be a, a key factor in, in deciding this? Well, I, th I think it's, it is the defense's case, um, because what they, are, what they need to do and will try to do is to plant seeds of doubt with the jury about whether or not he um, died from some other cause other than asphyxiation. And so they will go to whether or not he had drugs in his system, et cetera. Um, but I think anybody can see that no human being should be treated the way that George Floyd was treated on May 25th. Thank you very much indeed. Uh